Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be creating a nice application using React Native. We will create a to-do list application. Let me quickly show you how this application works. We can type learn React right here and we can hit this plus button and we can see that the to-do is added down right here. We can say learn React Native, add it and we can see it added down. We can also say learn JavaScript, add it, also subscribe to the channel, add it, and we can also delete them as you can see, everything is interactive. This is what we are going to build guys, if this is your first time right here, my name is Yusman, I make tutorials about React and React development, React Native also, so if you want to become a developer a web developer, a mobile developer, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and become part of the family. So let's open Visual Studio Code right now and start creating this React Native application from scratch. Alright, the way we create a React Native application is fairly simple. We have to open a folder inside Visual Studio Code, open a new terminal and type just npx react-native in it and here we can give a project name so for this project i will call this to-do list app version 2 because i have version 1 already and i'm gonna hit enter and that will create the react native project for me that will happen to you but you need to have node.js installed Without that, you won't be able to run this command, so make sure you have Node.js installed. Um, this will take a little bit of time now, and I'm gonna be back to you when this is finished. So the installation has finished, and here we can see that we have a folder on the left side. If I expand this folder, we can see a bunch of files. We have an Android folder, iOS folder, Note modules folder, where we have all the dependencies, and we also have regular uh, Reactish files, which you have already have seen. Um, so we have a package that's package that JSON file as normal. Um, yeah, and now what we need to do, we need to CD into that folder. So I can say CD to do list app. And inside we can run the application by saying npx react native start that will start metro for us and we can just and we can open another terminal right here uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open another terminal here and I'm gonna say uh, ls to do list App and here I will say npx react native run iOS and that will start my iOS emulator right here so let me just make this smaller so we can see the emulator popping up right here it says launching iPhone 12 iOS 14.4 Here is the emulator, so I'm gonna place it right here so we can see what uh, what we are building simultaneously. All right, and that's gonna take a little bit of time. The first launch is always slow, so I'll be back to you when the app has started. All right, so this is what npx react native init gives us out of the box. Just this stuff right here which I'm gonna delete right now so to do that I'm gonna navigate to my app.js file and we will clear everything from here we won't need anything from here so I'm gonna make this smaller right now and uh, let's uh, start by removing this piece of code for the section let's uh, remove those imports right here um, let's remove this this
remove everything inside the safe area view. Remove the style right here. And we're going to be styling this separately. Um, remove the styling right here. Make it empty. So we can paste our own styles. And right here we can remove this node. So I'm going to say const app, an arrow function, and remove the things that we know we won't need right here. So status bar, scroll view, node, everything. Instead, we can prettify this and let's uh, place a text inside this safe area view. So text. And we can say hello from React Native. Just to see if I save this control command. In my case, it's command and S. In your case, it would be control and S if you are using a Windows machine. Uh, you can see the text right here. So our app is running and let's start creating the to-do list app. So to do this, uh, I'm going to create a new style right here. I'm going to say root. So root will be with flex one. All right. And for this safe area view, I'm going to say style. And I'm going to provide styles dot root just like that. And I'm going to remove this text right here. And uh, what we will have inside the safe area view, we will have a view which will hold our text input. So let's import the text input. So I'm going to say text input. We will also need touchable opacity. So touchable opacity for the plus button to add the to do. Uh, what else we will need? We will need a flat list for the data to display the data. And <clears throat> I'm sorry. So now inside this view, we will have a text input. So I'm going to say text input with a self closing tag. And we also need to assign a couple of props. But before that, let's import some hooks we'll be using. So I'm going to say use state from react. And here I'm going to create a piece of state. So I'm going to say const to do's and set to do's to be equal to you state. And that's going to be an empty array initially. I'm going to say const user input. <clears throat> so user input set user input. And that will be you state an empty string. And for the value of this text input, I'm going to provide user input right here. And we can say on change text. And we will open curly, bra curly, bra curly braces. And here we'll say text. And we will set the user input into the text we are typing. Just like that. All right. We can also say text input for styling and uh, we can say style to be equal to styles dot text input and let's save this and see what will happen now well we don't see anything right now Actually, it's here, but we don't see it because it's, uh, uh, I would say, transparent. There is no border. There's nothing. So let's give this a border. So I'm going to say border. Border width will be one. Uh, border color. So border color will be. Uh, let's give this a hexadecimal of uh, DD C8 C4. And let's save and we can see now the text input right here. All right. 
Let's give this a width. So I'm going to say width 300. Um, let's give it a padding. So padding 10, padding of 10 and margin uh, vertical. So margin vertical of 10. All right. Actually, let's let's leave it like this for the moment. All right. And let's give this a placeholder as well. So I'm going to say placeholder. Uh, that's going to that's going to be enter your to do's dot dot dot. And we can see the placeholder right here. We can also say font size 18 and we will see this slightly bigger all right what else we can say uh, margin margin vertical 10 margin horizontal to be 10 and let's save and we can see that it moved a little bit and there is space between the edge of the phone and the other other part. All right. And we can we can also say uh, border radius. So border radius to be 10 so that we can have it a little bit rounded. And that looks even better to me right now. All right. Um, what we will have here next to the text input, we'll have a plus button to add the to do's. And first of all, we'll need to import icons. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open Google Chrome. I'm going to open Google Chrome and I'm going to search for React Native Vector Icons. All right. And we can open this first link right here, for that GitHub link. And here you will find a very nice explanation of how to install React Native vector icons and how to link it. Um, so here we can say we can see uh, that npm install command. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code right here and I'm going to open another terminal right here. So a new terminal. Uh, CD into the project so to do list and just copy and paste uh, paste this command right here and I will wait until this is installed and after that I'm gonna show you what else you need to do in order to install successfully react native vector icons now for Android you will need to follow the Android steps but as I'm using macOS, I will do that for macOS. So let's wait until this is installed. All right, it's installed right now. And we need to do additional thing right now. We can do npx pot dash install to install the pots. So after every dependency you install, it's always a nice practice to do um, npx pot install if you want to update your pots folder. So there is one additional thing we need to do after that, but let's wait until the pots are installed. Basically, here we can see a list of available fonts to copy and paste in info.plist. So uh, what we can do, we can copy this right here. We can open the iOS folder. We can open the project folder right here. And we have info.plist file. And we can just place them right here and save this file. And after the pods are installed, we will make a new build so that the project is updated. And we will be able to use React Native uh, vector icons. Um, OK, 
can say react native vector icons directory right here and we will be grabbing the icons from this directory right so you can follow the unwritten instructions but uh, we have done it for ios and we will see that in a moment all right so here are the icons and we will search for icons right here wow that takes a lot of time what's happening right here come on all right All right, the pot installation is completed. All right, amazing. So let me just make this smaller again and come back right here. Okay, um, now let's also have, aside from the text input right here, we can say touchable opacity. So touchable opacity inside the touchable opacity we will place an icon so i'm gonna search for plus and we can grab we can grab uh, which one which one uh, let me let me type add so add uh, yonic icons okay let's grab this one add sharp add sharp so i'm going to copy the name and right here i'm going to say i'm going to say uh, import plus icon from react native vector icons and that's ionic icons if i'm not mistaken yeah it's ionic icons and the way we use icons in React Native, it's very simple. We just place it right here inside touchable opacity. We say um, plus icon and we can give it a size. So I'm going to say size of 35, a size of 35 and name to be sharp. All right and we can bring the emulator again and we can save to see the changes okay we have to give a new build right here so that was a problem i forgot to make a new build so npx react native run ios okay and that's gonna start a new build and after that we won't have that problem let's see I hope it doesn't take that time. The first time was maybe more than 10 minutes. Uh, so it's gonna load now. All right, let's wait until the new build is ready. So after the new build, we can see that we have successfully installed uh, React Native Vector icons. You can see the icon right here and I can click it. So let's also make this, uh, <clears throat> place it right here. So to do that, we can say, uh, we can give this view a style. So we can say uh, text input view, and that view will have a flex direction of row. It will have align items to the center all right and justify content to the center just like that and we're gonna give this view this style so style to be equal to styles dot 
Ah. Okay. Styles that text input view and save and we can see that it moved right and we can also style touchable opacity so touchable opacity uh, that one we can say add add button so add button so add button that will be this button will have a padding let's see padding of 10 how it, how it will look like a background so background color of uh, 896A67 hexadecimal and just to see that let's give this touchable opacity style so the style styles that add button okay save and we can see it it has this background color okay we can we can make this a border radius so border radius of 10 let's see how this will look like all right it's it looks better let me decrease the padding here all right this looks much better so padding of five and uh, let's give this uh, plus icon a color so i'm gonna say plus icon oh come on my keyboard today is horrible so uh plus icon and i'm gonna say color so color of this will be hexadecimal e so eff 9 f0 all right and i'm gonna say style styles that plus icon all right just like that and we can see that the color of the icon right now is is plus okay all right so we can we we have uh, this text input field styled and the plus button styled so now let's work on adding the to do's so in order to make this work what we need to do we need to assign a handler to this plus button so i'm going to create a new handler right here so i'm going to say const add to do handler okay that's going to be an arrow function and here we will have a, a check um, so when we have something into the inside the field when we have type something we will do something and when we don't have we want obviously to exit the code and stop the stop the execution of this method so first of all I'm gonna say if so if user input is equal to an empty string so when we have nothing into the field then we want to return else we will do some uh, some logic right here so first of all I'm gonna say const new to do and that's gonna be an object and that to do will have an ID of mat mat that floor mat that random multiplied by 1000 that's gonna give us a number between 0 and 1000 if I'm not mistaken uh, we will have uh, to do text the text of the to do will be user input right here and we can say also complete it to be false okay so that's our new to do well we need to when we click the button we need to append that to do to the already existing array of to do's so the way we do this we can just say const new to do's 
to be equal to, we spread out the to-dos we already have. And the way we do this is by using the dot, the three dot syntax. So that's called the spread operator, operator inside JavaScript. So we spread the to-dos we have, and we also add that new to-do right here into the array. And after we do that, we can just say set to-dos. So we are setting the new state to the new to-dos, all right? And maybe we can clear, clear user input finally. And to clear the user input, we can say set user input to be an empty string again, okay? Now we have to assign this to do handler Add to do handler to the touchable opacity. So here we can say on press and we can say add to do handler. All right. And most probably that will work, but we need to display the to do's also. So to display the to do's, what we can do, we can have another view right here. So I'm going to say view. And inside this view, we will have a flat list. So I'm going to say flat list, just like that. I'm going to say data, and the data of the flat list will be to do's, all right? We will have render item to be equal to render item, which we will create right now. And we can say key extractor. So each item of the flat list, render item will expect a different key. So that's why we gave this ID up here. So ID, and we're going to use this ID right here. So I'm going to say uh, item and that be item dot ID. All right. Um, let's create this render item right here. So I'm going to say const render item and we will extract the item right here from the props. And each render item will have will be a view. And inside this view, we will have another view, which will have text right here. And the text will be item dot text just like that. And we will also have touchable opacity and we will have the trash icon. So let's grab the let's grab the trash icon right here. Um, so I'm going to say remove. I'm going to search for remove and let's see what we have. Well, Let's see, let's type trash, so trash. Okay, we have trash and we can grab trash. Okay, I'm gonna copy this. So I'm gonna say trash right here and I'm gonna copy this icon. And place the name right here. So name equals trash plus icon. We will need trash, trash icon. Okay. So here we will have trash icon and style will provide styles later okay let's bring the emulator again and save this and type eat right here and we can see the to do added down sleep and we can see another one added down all right so we have to style it and it will look much better okay so to do that uh, 
what we can do we can we can do to make it quicker we can do inline styling to see what's happening so here this view the 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 main view which holds the text and the, the trash icon so this one we can say background color to be equal to hexadecimal 6b4 d57 hit save all right we can see them we can say margin vertical so top and bottom to be 10 all right and we can also say flex direction to be row all right and we can say align items to be center all right just like that and we can say also justify content space between that will push them to the edges just like that okay nice um we can also say height so height of this will be 100 or it's too big i believe let's make it 60 and let's see how this looks yeah it looks much better right now okay and the width of this will be 350 all right so 350 looks good to me uh, but in order to move this to the center right now we need to give this view right here another styling so we can say style uh, we can say justify content to the center all right and that will move it to the center and align items center just like that yeah now they move to the center actually we don't need the justify content center right here just align items is enough all right and let's return right here let's say border radius so border radius for this parent view will be 10 all right and for the text so text style another inline style so color will be the color of the text will be that uh, color of the plus button so I can just copy and paste it right here from the from this right here and paste it and we can see that now it should be white but we have a mistake okay now it's white we can also say font size to be 19 let's see how this looks looks much bigger let's make it 20 okay 20 and font weight bold all right okay and we can also have a little bit of padding right here so padding of five okay and we can see that they moved a little bit there is a space between the edge and the text and the icon as well. Uh, let's quickly, quickly give the same color to the icon. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say style to be color. And we can see the icon also is white right now. All right, so we can enter to do's. Let's also work on the deleting of to do's. So to do that, it's gonna be quick. So let's say const delete to do handler. And here we will 
have the idea to do that we want to delete provided as a parameter and here basically we will do the following uh, we will say uh, const all to do's to be equal to we'll spread the existing to do's again and after that we will say const new to do's so new to do's to be equal to all to do's dot filter uh, we will filter each to do and here we'll filter out the to do that ID that is not equal to the provided ID all right and after that we will say set to do's so set to do's to be equal to new to do's so we are setting the new state again right here and uh, we will assign this handler to a trash icon so here to the touchable opacity uh, where is that it's right here so i'm going to say const oh, sorry on press so on press will be equal to an arrow function and we will provide that delete to do handler and we will pass item that id right here and if I do this right now, and if I click this button, we can see that to-dos are getting deleted successfully. So eat again and sleep. We can add them and we can delete them successfully. All right, with that, our application is uh, ready. Uh, we can just move those styles into separate styles. So let me just quickly do that. So I'm going to say right here, uh, flat flat list view so flat list view we 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 will have also um, to do to do view so to do view and the to do view will have all the styles we have provided right here so I'm gonna copy them I'm going to copy them and paste them right here and the flat list view will also have this style right here so flat list view and we can see style dot flat list view All right and here we can say styles dot to do view all right to do text and trash icon to do view so we'll have also to do text <clears throat> and trash icon okay okay trash icon is actually the same as this so let me copy it quickly and paste it right here go back above uh, we can see styles trash icon just like that and copy that right here and say styles to do text go back below and paste the styles right here prettify hit save and everything is as it needs to be we have styles separated no inline styling the logic is separated the state is separated so we can say eat add to do sleep add to do learn react native Add it to do delete them and we have everything working so that was it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please make sure you give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe recommend to a friend and become part of this expanding family of react and react native developers 
Thank you so much for watching once again, and I see you again in the next videos.